everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be a little bit different from our typical videos I am going to be reviewing shoes tennis shoes at that um, the reason that I decided to make this video is because if you've been following my channel then you know about a few months back I was uh, given crutches by the doctor um, due to my leg you know my leg I was having pain in my ankles and around my foot um, and also at the bottom of my foot, I was having pain. And so I went to the doctor to see what it was. And they told me pretty much it's pes planus, which stems from having flat feet. And so they're in the doctor's office. You now I told them that I wear shoes that are just very comfortable. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that has to have the end season shoe or the coolest shoe, as long as the shoes feel comfortable to me and they're, um, you know, I can kind of just slip them on. Those are the shoes that I typically gravitate to. So I wear a lot of, um, I used to wear Vans, but not so much anymore. I now wear Toms a lot. I love Toms and flip-flops. Um, it's getting a little colder, so I'm not really wearing flip-flops too much, but I typically wear flat shoes. And so the shoes that I chose weren't providing enough support for my feet. And so I was on a mission to find more comfortable shoes, more supportive shoes. And so I wanted to make this video because a lot of you uh, left comments underneath the video where I had crutches and explained, you know, everything that I just pretty much explained now. You left comments uh, just giving me different tips and advice on what type of shoes you go for and what type of shoes I should maybe look into. And a lot of you also said that you have the same problem that I'm experiencing with flat feet. So I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and let them know what I've decided to, what shoe I decided to go with how I'm feeling about the shoe so far, and just kind of do an overall review on the shoe. So if you are interested, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So um, I went shopping, I think it was like a month ago. Um, I wasn't necessarily looking for shoes. We were out of town, we were in St. Louis and we were just looking around at shoes and I decided to try some shoes on and I fell in love with these Air Maxes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what they look like. Now, I do wear size nine and a half in women's. Typically, I can get away with a nine sometimes, and sometimes I can get away with going up to a 10. Just depends, but that nine and a half mark is really comfortable for me. I am 5'8", so I'm not, I'm not too short. A lot of people are surprised when I say that. They're like, I thought you were shorter. I'm not. I'm 5'8", and I wear size nine and a half. Now, for me, it seems like it's, I'm going to show you the shoes in just one second, but it seems like it's, um, I don't know. I just feel like I have a hard, harder time finding shoes in my size. Every time I go to a shoe store, it seems like, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate no matter what size shoe you wear, but it does seem like my shoe size is always gone or I have like very slim picking. So I was very excited. This was, these shoes were not my first pick. I honestly forgot what shoes, like the name of the shoes that I picked first, but I know the shoes that I picked, they didn't have my size. These were like, the fifth pair of shoes that I decided to try, but I'm still happy that I got these shoes because they are really comfortable and I like the way they look. So these are the shoes that I decided to get. These are, I have the box here because I knew I was gonna forget. I don't even know if the box tells me the exact name. It just says Women, Women's Air Max Plus SE. So I don't know. I'm not a shoe-aholic. I'm not really into tennis shoes. I really don't wear tennis shoes. I don't wear tennis shoes so much that, um, and I think I said the sentence wrong, but bear with me. I, when I put on tennis shoes, my sons literally come to me and they're like, mom, why do you have on that shoes? And I'm like, I don't, they're mine. But I don't wear tennis shoes at all. So when I wear tennis shoes, it's kind of like a shocker. Even my kids are like, what is mom wearing? What does she have on? But I just don't. When I was younger, I wore tennis shoes a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I didn't wear any other type of shoe, but the older I got, you know, I just, for me, I just kind of, I stopped being attracted to tennis shoes on me. I don't know. I think there's a time and a place to wear tennis shoes. So that's why I'm trying to now start building up a variety of different type of shoes. And also it's healthy to not just wear the type of shoes that I, were wear, that I was wearing daily. So I'm going to start, you know, spicing up my shoe game, I guess. But I don't know. I just, I just didn't wear tennis shoes. But anyways, getting back to the shoe, this is what they look like. And I've wore them, so I'm going to show you the bottom. They're not completely dirty, but I just want to show you, like, to let you know that I've legitly, legitimately wore these shoes, so I'm giving you an honest review. Um, so I'm just going to go on the looks for starters. So how they look. Um, 
my boyfriend actually bought these for me but like i said i picked them out now they look really really nice and sleek the reason i picked them out is because i wanted something that i could wear with multiple things now i know you don't necessarily have to match your tennis shoes with all of your clothes i'm not even a matchy matchy type of person but i wanted something that wouldn't look so like clunky i do have bigger feet and so I'm aware of that. So every time I get shoes, I don't really like the boxy type of shoes. I try to get shoes that are more form fit fitting just because they, in my opinion, they look better on my feet and, and the things that I decide to wear. So even if I wore like a pair of jeans with these, they look nice. If I decided to wear like sweats with these, they look nice. If I decided to wear even like a pink outfit, um, one of those pink outfits from Victoria's Secret or any other workout outfit, um, they, they fit. They look good, in my opinion. So I've wore these shoes out. They feel really, really comfortable um, inside. I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know really too much about the shoe, to be honest. I just know how it feels. But I think these bubbles um, or whatever the air, whatever this is called, <laughs> I think this has something to do with the support. When I was purchasing the shoe, I was asking questions and the... Um, store clerk that I got she didn't know too much about the shoe either she was very helpful but she didn't know was, uh, she didn't know a lot about support you know so I don't even know if these shoes are necessarily supposed to be for support I don't know but I can tell you that they feel really good and on the inside it does say um, engineered for all day everyday comfort and it just feels soft like in the back of the shoe it feels really soft and um I just like how it feels. I don't feel like my feet are like, I don't even feel like my feet have to break the shoes in. You know, sometimes you get tennis shoes, you kind of feel like they're really stiff and you have to break the shoe in. You don't, I didn't get this, that feeling with these shoes. I kind of just put my foot in and I wore them outside and it was very comfortable. I didn't want to take these shoes off because coming from shoes that are really low support or really just flat shoes and then trying on shoes like this, Oh my gosh, it, it, it felt amazing. It felt amazing. I wish I could really put the feeling into words. But if any of you have flat feet and if any of you are like me and you just have a habit of wearing flat shoes and you're looking for different shoes to provide support, again, I don't know if these shoes are necessarily um, promoted and advertised for support, but I can just go off of my experience and let you know that I felt very supported in these shoes. At the end of the day, when I take my shoes off, Sometimes my feet will hurt. Um, sometimes they'll be okay. But I can let you know that after I wore these shoes, they didn't hurt. Like I, I really, my feet didn't hurt at all. So this shoe has definitely sparked my interest in more tennis shoes because I, I just want to feel good. You know what I mean? Um, I still would prefer like wearing Toms with the kind of clothes that I wear daily over this type of shoe. However, um, it's not always about how things look. It is definitely about your comfort and your health. And you start to appreciate and look at things a little bit different the older that you get. And the, you know, the more um, things that may pop up with your, you know, with your body, you know. When I was younger, I could wear flat shoes all day long and nothing, I, I didn't feel a thing. You know, I didn't really notice the difference. Um, my feet didn't swell. My ankles weren't hurting. I didn't care. I would even go outside with no shoes sometimes and run around. And it was just like, I, I didn't care. I didn't really feel the effects. But now that I'm older, I can definitely feel, you know, the effects of wearing shoes that are comfortable versus shoes that are not. Um, what else do I want to say about the shoe? I really just wanted to show you all what the shoe looks like and what shoe I decided to go with in case any of you were kind of stumped and puzzled as to what shoe you can go with. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, my shoe journey is not over. I definitely want to get more shoes that provide support so that I can just have a variety to choose from. I don't have to get a slew of shoes, but I do want to start building up um, the shoes that I do have. The shoes that I have right now, like the tennis shoes that I don't wear that I do have are like forces and Jordans because those are what I used to wear when I was younger honestly that's what I wore um, like back in my high school days and things like that and sometimes I would wear like K-Swiss and things like that too but the shoes that I had back then a lot of them look kind of new like a lot of them look pretty new let me show you let me show you like the shoes that I would wear and let you tell me if I should still wear these shoes if they have support or not ignore my chair is squeaking but one second I'll be right back okay thanks for waiting with me I'm back um so like this is a shoe that I wore a few years ago I used to wear this shoe quite often um so I don't know if this is like I forgot honestly what the name of the shoe is I don't know but these are kind of like 
through, through Nike, some kind of Nikes. I don't know. See, that lets you know that I really don't know too much about tennis shoes and things like that. But I liked how these shoes looked. I liked the color of them. You know, I just liked them. And um, I still liked how they were kind of form-fitting to my foot because I don't really like... I used to, I don't know why I wore forces. I think it's just because they were just in style back then, but and I think they're they're still in style now. I'm just saying my style has changed over the years, obviously. A lot of our styles change. Um, but I don't really cling toward forces or, or shoes that really aren't form fitting to, to my foot. For you know, just because I don't. But these are like an example of the shoes that some shoes that I have in my closet. So I don't know, these don't really feel as supportive as the Air Maxes do. They just don't to me just to kind of give you like a comparison. They just don't feel as supportive. Now, I don't know why you you all, if you're into tennis shoes, you probably know you're like, okay, because these shoes are for this and these shoes are for that. I don't know. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you all an idea of how the shoes are feeling. Now, as far as an update on my feet, my feet really haven't been swelling that much, but I don't know if I can give the credit only to the shoes just because I haven't been wearing the shoes that much. Like I've been wearing the shoes, obviously, like I mentioned, but I haven't been wearing them like every single day or, you know, for months and months on end. So I really, I can't give all of the credit to the shoe. I really think it has, a, it's due to a, a number of things. Um, you know, the swelling in my foot, I, you know, I can't, like I said, I can't just give all the credit to the shoe. I've been changing a lot of different habits and I'll probably make a more in-depth video on that if you are interested, but um I can tell you that the shoe has definitely helped. And if I am feeling any pain in my feet and I have to go out that day, um, then I'll try to grab these shoes over just putting on any other shoes. Or I'll put on some shoes that I like with the outfit and then still carry these shoes in the car in case we decide to go someplace else and my feet hurt, I can just kind of put these shoes on. So I like the shoes. Um, as far as the price, they were 160. These are definitely, I don't regret getting these shoes, even though I didn't buy them. My boyfriend did. I don't regret uh, getting them. I think that, you know, it was a great buy. I like the way that they look. I like the way that they feel. And would I encourage anyone else to get them? Yeah, I encourage you to go to the store, try them out. And if they fit good for you and if they feel good, then go for it. So that's my video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.